caskets from Dollar Tree. Um, so the style of my kitchen is gray, white, black, and then I'm adding some silver and blue. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't, I thought this would be too plain. So I'm going to be adding this diamond adhesive wrap from Dollar Tree. You get this whole thing for $1. So I'm just going to be cutting it to this size. And it's 10 down. And I'm just going to be applying it right here. And then I also have this vase from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to set it in the middle and glue it on top like that. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so I figured it out, and I'm just going to go with five down, because the, the other one I had was ten, and I just thought that it looked too, oh, look how that stuck to that. I thought that was too thick, so I just went with this, and now I'm just placing it on there. And putting a little bit of hot glue in some spots right here in case it doesn't fall off. Okay, so I am trying to save as much bling as I can. I don't want to take it around and then put it all on the side. So I'm only putting it where you can see. So I put it along the front edge right here. Just side to side. And then, so you can see it from here. So I didn't put it on the back because it's going to be on the wall. So I put it in the inside. Should I do right here? So I put it in the inside. So that way, when you're looking at it, you don't see it like this. If I would have put it all around. So I put it on the front and I put it on the inside. Just like that and I didn't do the sides back here because you're not gonna see that so basically I'm still on one adhesive wrap I didn't open the other one yet all right so I'm gonna finish the other one and then I will come back going to glue this vase on I did want to paint it white but I just felt like that would be too much white and I like the clearness of it if not it's just glue so if I really wanted to I could probably rip it off and paint it if it didn't look right so I am using the Gorilla glue stick so this should hold pretty good I'm just gonna put a whole bunch of glue on the inside in here and on the bottom of this and just apply pressure on there Okay, so now I flipped it over so that I can add more glue on the top. I had to add another glue stick, so I'm just going to put the glue where it needs to be filled in. Like 
that. And then it's already holding up. So I'm gonna let that dry a couple more seconds and then I will add it onto my other piece. Okay, so it is finally glued on here. Nice and sturdy. So next I just need to glue a little bit on the top so that it can lay flat like this. And since there's holes, I'm just moving the glue to cover over top of what it isn't gluing to. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and I'll be right back. Okay, so before I finish, I thought I'd just add on this extra piece right at the rim right here. I guess that looks a little bit better. All right, so I'm gonna be adding my coffee. I have my big coffee um, pods right here, little coffee pods, and then I'm gonna add my cream mask. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put the coffee at the bottom because it's a little bit heavier. These things are a little bit heavier than the creamer. So I'm gonna put the creamer at the top and the coffee at the bottom, and then I will show you guys what it looks like.